All right, y'all, and we're going to do an in-depth ammo review on all the self-defense ammo, almost a dozen different ammo choices, all tested out of my micro MMP shield here. As you guys know, I do my short barrel ammo test because this is what most people are going to carry, something similar to this for everyday carry. First here, have this Federal Premium 147 grain law enforcement HSC. This is a premium law enforcement round, this Federal HST. And if you want a round that gives you massive expansion and the most penetration, this is my number one round because you get massive 70 caliber. Both of these slugs is fully expanded. It's 70 and 72 caliber. Massive expansion, but you also got just very, very deep penetration. You got over 18 inches of 17 to 18 inches of penetration to the ballistic test. And as you can see here, this HST is engineered to excel in law enforcement protocol. So it's barrier blind. You get really, really big, massive expanding nine mil slugs for 147 grain for such a slow subsonic low energy round. You get maximum expansion and maximum penetration. Then we have this federal punch 124 grain, which is also a pretty good round. I'll take it out here and show you. That's what it looks like in depth. That's what that federal point looks like. You see that nice wide hollow point cavity just like the HST. And here's the slugs from the federal punch. Had expanded not quite as big as the HST, but really good. You got 63 and 64 caliber expansion. And it got really good penetration between 12 and a half to 14 inches of penetration. And like I said, these slugs fully expanded. And these did just like they were supposed to. And this is Federal's first load, this Federal Punch here, 124 grain. That was specifically designed for everyday carry civilian use, not law enforcement use. So this Federal Punch is a really good self-defense sold also. Then we go into the Winchester. We have the newest load from Winchester, the Shoe Say Ready, MAGA Defense, and it's 124 grain plus P. And this gave you some ex hyper explosive inch and expansion. This bad boy has eight segmented pedals on it, and it gives you that explosive expansion on impact. This right here is a big old slug, 68 caliber expansion. It just made a devastating wound channel through the first eight inches, and it still penetrated to around 11 and a half to 12 inches, which for some may be a little bit under penetration, but for most scenarios on the thoracic cavity, on the average size male adult size male at least is only between seven and a half to 11 inches maximum being the 11 inches maximum the biggest 300 pound seven foot four shack size character so a normal situation in a real life scenario 11 and a half inches of penetration will be more than enough when you get such an explosive round like this then we come down to these winchester 124 grain plus p elite defender and this is the civilian Bonded Ranger T. I'll give you a close look at that round. And this is also a law enforcement round that was meant for the FBI test protocol. And the FBI adopted this round back in 2018. And the FBI used this round right here, a 9 millimeter. This is for the FBI test. And as you see, these elite defendant Bonded Ranger T's here got some massive explosive expansion here. Really good. 66 caliber expansion and you can see he has these talons on here that are razor sharp these things are just devastatingly sharp just to even touch so i know being fired from a gun and this was going through your body toward the end of travel these talons will just cut and tear through your tissue and flesh will just nick and sever any artery this will make a devastating wound channel toward the end of its travel and these are some pretty good rounds here. These Elite Defender 124 grain plus P's. Like, again, you see those talons on there. The razor sharp. These are the civilian bonded Ranger T's. Then next, we have, again, the Winchester Elite Defender, but then the 147 grain. This is a big old heavyweight Hank subsonic slug. And this one, the copper jackets are quite a bit thicker than on the 124 grain plus P. And as you can see, these things didn't give you as much explosive expansion. The expansion on this was only about 49 or 50 caliber, but you got much more bone crusher penetration. This round penetrated 17 inches. And all my ammo I test with a hard bone ballistic test. The Federal HST so far before testing these Elite Defender 147 grain was the only one able to get through that solid quarter inch of plywood. But these heavyweight Hank Winchester Elite Defenders, they busted that hard bone test and plowed straight through that quarter inch of plywood and kept on going. 
So for those of you who might want a slow, heavyweight, low energy round, and like I said, I tested that about 3.1 inch barrel. So if they're working that, they'll work anything. So if you use a longer barrel, you might get more, you will get more velocity and probably more expansion. But even in my short barrel, these slow subsonic rounds perform pretty good. Okay, let me go in here to the six hour Elite Defense 124 grain V crown. And for a standard pressure round, these are loaded pretty warm, as you can see here. Nice shallow hollow point cavity with the star tap dot in the middle of it in it. So it has two holes serrating like two hollow points. And this V crown is a pretty good round if you want the best as far as expansion and penetration from a standard pressure. This V crown wins hands down. And that's why in one of my clips, I keep this loaded. I, I load various ammo, but I definitely have this V crown loaded in one of my clips for EDC because you get marvelous. 60 caliber expansion which is really good this thing and my three inch three point one inch barrel as you can see it didn't get full expansion it only peeled about half away this v crown but it got mostly all the expansion most of the expansion this round had to offer and you got phenomenal penetration this round penetrated about 16 and a half to 18 inches and it also busted that hard bones test and was able to lodge in that quarter inch of plywood now this didn't plow clean through the quarter inch of plywood but it deeply lodged in there and cracked the back side and hit it with so much energy. So these V-Crown give you the best, a, a best balance of overall expansion and penetration. These six hour Elite Defense 124 grain V-Crown, like I said, they're loaded pretty warm for thinner pressure. Then now next to six hour, we have this 365 115 grain micro V-Crown. Now this is a light loaded round. This is mostly for micro pistols, which I carry explicitly designed for the short barrels this is a low energy and for 115 grain projectiles so around a thousand fifty feet per second has a ballistics on the box this is specifically for everyday carry short barrel pistols as you can see optimized for superior performance in short barrels and it performed pretty good for such a light load uh you see here you got pretty good 51 and 53 caliber expansion this round on average penetrated about as I, as I recall, it penetrated about 12 and a half to uh, 14 inches. Uh, it did not plow through the plywood and shatter the hard bone ballistic test, but that's what this round, this isn't a bone breaking, you know, hard busting or gang bust around. This is specifically made to be carried in a small subcompact and a micro compact pistol with a short barrel it's a watered down from the original 115 grain so it's a very low recoil very shooting round with a very soft noise report considerably not nearly as loud or as felt recoil a muzzle flip as most of the self-defense soldiers are going to get chambered a nine millimeter and for those of you who might be recoil sensitive and want a round that offers you a good balance of expansion penetration and performance in a micro compact pistol the 365 v crown probably for you then we go down here to some Winchester Silver Tip. And this is that good old classic 115 grain Winchester Silver Tip. As you can see here, nice nickel plated silver bullet, nice deep hollow point cavity. And this thing gives you some pretty good explosive expansion here. But as you can see here, the expansion isn't unified as you see with more modern rounds. So round per round, you might get more expansion or penetration depending on the angle the round hit. As you can see here, this is a pretty big 70 caliber slug. This soup silver tip is a very explosive round. And it's rated at about, as you see here, at about 1225 feet per second with about 383 foot pounds of mother energy. Now, of course, in my micro 3.1 inch shield, I won't be getting that, but this thing still is going plenty fast enough to get this explosive expansion. As you can see, this peeled back all the way. This round had no more expansion to give it peeled all the way back. The jacket wrapped around the base. As you can see, the lead peeled all the way back. And my 3.1 inch barrel, these silver tips give you full instant hyper explosive expansion. Although the penetration is lacking in the penetration department, these rounds on average only give you between nine and a half to 11 inches of penetration. And I know that doesn't quite meet the FBI minimum, but still again, that's more than the penetration to reach the vital organs than the average size or even a large size attacker. So, this will be more than enough penetration with the silver tip. Then the last slow but not least is the cheapest stuff, this Winchester 
115 grain black box. This is like generic classic cowboy look from Winchester. And this is pretty much just a generic brand silver tip without the fancy nickel putty casing on here. As you can see, really good expansion from this realm. Instant hyper explosive expansion between 58 to 61 caliber. And as you can see, this these rounds got full expansion. And once again, and my short 3.1 inch micro barrel, if it'll work in this, it'll work in any length barrel. And these rounds got full expansion. And all my test folks are done in around 12 to 15 feet. As you can see, the, 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 the jacket peeled all the way back, well past the base, and wrapped around the back like a jellyfish. As you can see, full 58 caliber expansion from that round. Also, a this one is 62 caliber, full expansion, peeled all the way down. And this is really good performance from a cheap, generic round, folks. You can get a, this Winchester.